Oh, Aaliyah, I don't know about the docu series on Wimby, but I knew I do know about this. This is something I wanted to go over because um, I didn't know this, and I really want to see the context of this. So apparently, Victor Wimbanyama had something to say about Westbrook. This is 20 questions with the class of 2023. I have not seen this. And obviously with by his hair, you know that this was at least um, at least a month and a half ago, probably. Probably. He had his hair cut for a while now. Uh, at least over a month ago. Let, let's see. Hey, who was your favorite basketball player growing up? I remember, I remember at some point I was a big fan of Westbrook, you know, at OKC. But um, I had plenty, you know. I didn't have like one big idol. Yeah. Now you're gonna get to go up against him too. Yeah. That's pretty. That's. I would not have. I would not have guessed that. I I would not have guessed that Westbrook was his top. I mean, we knew that Scoot Westbrook was his was his favorite. Like we we knew that, and we can even tell from his playing style that Westbrook was his favorite. It's this also puts things in perspective, man, because. While we talk trash about Westbrook often, I mean, we, we all do. I mean, even even Sohan did it. Um, gosh, you kind of forget the amount of impact he had around the early 2010s. I mean, he he the the amount of disrespect he gets today, it was not like that back then. It wasn't until and and, and it's of his own doing too. But it wasn't until like KD left, um, where he was taking too many like weird shots. And I think what really hurt his reputation is when he went against a rookie spider, uh, Donovan Mitchell, and like tried to like outplay him, or like out not outplay him, obviously you want to outplay him, but like outshoot him. And then he did the same thing with Dame. It's like, ugh. I think the Dame Lillard was like the the nail on the coffin right there for people disrespecting him. So I won't go as far as to say like Westbrook doesn't deserve any of the hate. Urgh, I don't I don't believe that. Um, but man, yeah, I think he does deserve a little bit more respect for the impact that he had. I had no idea he had an impact on on Wimby like that. Um, if there was a player that I would have guessed, maybe I would have thought maybe AD or maybe LeBron. I, I would have never guessed Westbrook. Hey, who was your favorite basketball player growing up? I remember, uh, I remember at some point I was a big fan of Westbrook. You know, at OKC, but um, I had plenty. You know, I didn't have like one big idol. Yeah. Okay. Well, he he just recalls being a fan of Westbrook, but I, I guess he did have an impact on him. I, it's just oof, that's just weird. That's just weird. You also don't hear a lot of players coming into the league saying LeBron was their their main guy. I wonder why is that? Maybe because the discourse around LeBron is so toxic, um, and it's been toxic for a while. You guys remember when people were saying like LeBron was better than Kobe in the miss like like while Kobe was winning championships people were saying that that was so toxic that was so infuriating he was literally winning championships in the middle of it people were saying LeBron was better than him like he had just had like a crazy showing and then just won his next championship and they're like yeah LeBron's better so whatever who cares? Who cares about your little little championship? Might be because Westbrook wants to do everything on the court. I, I suppose. I suppose. Yo Clan Brittany is guilty. She could have easily arranged a private meeting with Wimby. She did that ish for publicity. Oh, it was obvious that, that that's what that was. It was very strange the way that she went about that. Very, very strange. Also, um, I mean, not to not to be like dirty about anything, but like that whole divorce that's going on, that dude talked a lot of trash too. Very weird. But huh? Just interesting. I, I had no idea that he cared for West, Westbrook like that. Pretty cool.